Hey guys, welcome back. So I finally did something with uh, all these drawings you're seeing in the videos, these schematics and things. Yay! And I got these little handle things, so we'll take a look at those. Okay, so uh, here's what I did with these schematics. I put them up on a website called p3d.in and you can see here I've uploaded a schematic for each frame jig part listed by the video it appeared in. Uh, the schematic is this schematic is from the frame jig part 3 video and the cool thing about this site is that you can view it in 3D uh, all the schematics are in 3D and you can like rotate it around and really get an idea of how these things are built and uh, the other neat thing is that it runs in your browser so you don't need to install any software or anything like that here is the path to the pithy bikes p3d gallery I will also put a link in the video description. Hey, a nice feature that this site has is you can change the material type and if you set it to x-ray view you can see like right through the part and uh, see how all the bolts are set up and where all the holes are drilled and you know you can see the dowels in there so this is really nice to kind of um, get a really good understanding of the part. So that was P3D and now let's take a look at those handles. These are Morton die cast uh, handles. It is a 1.5 inch stud length and a thread size is 1 quarter 20. Alright, so I'm going to replace uh, each of these studs with the handles instead. And uh, I actually bought the uh, 1.5 inch length, which is the longest length I would need. And rather than buy a bunch of different sizes and not be sure if they would be uh, too short or not, I just bought the long ones and I just cut them to size. Okay, that's all for this week. Next week we'll start the mid section of the jig. Please drop in for that and I'll see you later.